Everyone wants to look like a celebrity, so if you want to look like one, you can simply model them. In this video, we'll learn about the celebrity workout, what they did, and how they did it. Everything begins with a game plan and a winning mindset. So if you really want to have that beach body of your favorite celebrity, decide and commit to your workout plan. First and foremost, make sure you have a clear diet plan laid out and you stick to it till the end of your 30, 60, or 90 day plan. Once your diet's all set and you're confident with what you can eat, it's time to put the workout into play. There are various types of workouts you can choose depending on your goals and what you like to do with your personal time. The most significant point is that you need to seek something that you enjoy doing or really want to do. It's not necessary to determine a type of workout because it's what you feel you need to do. There are various choices. If you think that this type of workout doesn't appeal to you, you can shift into a different workout. Before we begin, I want to make sure that you understand what you can expect from this topic. Everyone is 100% unique. You can't simply expect to look exactly the same as your idol. For example, do you know the differences between high and low bicep insertions? Performing bicep curls will not change your insertions. Muscle insertions affect all muscles on your body and biceps are a simple example to illustrate this point. When it comes to celebrity workout plans, they are barely an accurate representation of what the individual actually did. Most celebrity workout plans that you could find on the internet would probably lack a lot of information about the individual's nutrition, recovery protocol, prior training history, and so on. Most importantly, everyone's physique is built differently. Same goes for your abs. Some of you might have 4-pack abs, some 6-packs, and some even have 8-10-pack to 10 pack abs. The reason they have so many abs is not because they train harder than anyone else, but because they're genetically gifted with it. So instead of relying on using a celebrity's ideal physique as a target to desire for, use them as inspiration to stay consistent in your training and diet. Genetics play a significant role in how a person's muscles are developed and shaped, and no amount of workout will change how you are physiologically built. Now that we've set things straight, let's talk about practicing celebrity workouts. Personally, you can still follow your desired celebrity workout plan as a stepping stone to achieve your goals of muscle building. But in terms of diet plan, it's not ideal to straight out follow their diet plans even if it's out there for people to look up to. Our daily caloric needs are varied from individual to individual. Even if you have the exact same weight and body metabolism, don't expect to gain the same results as what they have achieved. Nonetheless, let's look into several celebrity workouts that shape into everyone's desired body. Here's Daniel Craig's physique back in James Bond Casino Royale. Famous for his role as the current James Bond 007 agent in the James Bond franchise films, he spends months to tune his body just for that particular role. He partakes in weight training five days a week, followed by light cardio with stretching on the weekends, practicing the ideal diet plan and having a personal trainer and dietitian to keep him in line. As he wasn't overweight prior to engaging in this workout, he just needed to lose a proper amount of weight and build muscles. Generally, most people would concentrate on one muscle group per day, working it only once a week. Daniel works on full body circuits, boosting his heart rate and developing muscle and endurance at the same time. Next, I'll show you his workout routine, so take notes. Now, let's look at his full body circuit weekdays with light cardio weekends. Monday's workout, power circuit 10 reps per exercise with 3 sets. Clean and press, weighted knee raise. Weighted step-ups, pull-ups, incline push-up, tricep dips. Tuesday's workout, chest and back 10 reps per exercise with 4 sets. Incline bench press, pull-up, incline push-up, incline pec flies. Wednesday's workout, legs 10 reps per exercise with 4 sets. Squat, straight leg deadlift, hamstring curl, weighted lunge. Thursday's workout, Shoulders and arms, 10 reps per exercise with 4 sets. Incline bicep curls, tricep dips, lateral raises, shoulder press. Friday's workout, power circuit, 10 reps per exercise with 3 sets. Clean and press, weighted knee raise, weighted step ups, pull up, incline push up, tricep dips. Saturday and Sunday's workout, light cardio such as outdoor and physical activities. A full body circuit is a workout that jumps from one exercise to another with minimal rest. This is the optimum way to build muscle and burn fat at the same time. 
Moreover, it's a more effective workout in burning fat than a traditional cardio routine. Hugh Jackman Best known for his long-running roles as the Wolverine in the X-Men film series, as well as various lead roles in movies such as Van Helsing, The Prestige, and Les Miserables, which got him nominated for Best Actor in the Academy Award. Before he co-starred in his role as Wolverine, he worked together with his trainer David Kingsbury to get his desired shape for the role as Wolverine. According to his trainer, he was already in good shape before he proceeded to build up his muscle mass and leanness for the role. Due to that, he focused more on direct strength workouts with 1-5 to five reps followed by higher rep schemes, with a combination of low intensity training and intervals to keep bringing the body fat levels down while bulking. The weight training remained more or less the same during the whole process, with the only change in his body fat levels coming from the volume of cardio he was prescribed and the amount of calories consumed according to his personal trainer. His diet plan was a straightforward plan by having carbs on weight training days and low carb on normal days. In terms of supplement consumption, he took creatine for bulking, while for pre and post workout he took BCAAs to preserve lean muscle mass and universal L-carnitine to help metabolize fatty acids. To improve strength and size while keeping body fat to a minimum, Hugh practices a progressive overload workout to ensure continual strength gains. Designed on a four-week schedule, the reps for the main lifts are changed each week. For the first three weeks, the weight will be increased each week. During the fourth week, the weight is reduced to be able to perform 10 reps instead. The general outlook of the training schedule is as follows. Week 1, four sets with five reps each. Week 2, four sets with four reps each. Week 3, four sets with three reps each. Week 4, four sets with 10 reps each. Chris Evans. Best known for his superhero roles as the Marvel Comics character Captain America in the Marvel Cinematic Universe and the Human Torch in Fantastic Four. He gained serious muscle mass with an intensive workout routine in order to play the role as Captain America as portrayed in the comic version. His training was mainly focused on resistance training with only minimal cardio, which is about 20 minutes a day. Generally, this workout is suitable to those who have been training for over six months consecutively and want to shift towards a different workout plan. Resistance Training Routine It works on different parts of your body to achieve a balance. Day 1. Shoulders Seated Barbell Press Lateral Raises Dumbbell Press Seated Rear Deltoid Raise Shrugs 10-minute HIIT training session on treadmill or bike Day 2. Chest. Flat bench press. Incline chest press. Bench flies. Decline chest press. Push-ups on a BOSU ball. Day 3. Legs. Barbell squats. Leg press. Hack squats. Lunges. Seated calf raises. 10-minute HIIT training session on treadmill or bike. Day 4. Arms and core. Barbell bicep curls. Skull crushers. Incline seated bicep curls. Cable hammer curls. Dips. Close grip bench press. Ab crunches with legs raised. 30 second stability ball plank. Stability ball jackknife. Oblique crunches on stability ball each side. Day 5. Back. Pull ups. Seated row. Lat pull downs, stiff leg barbell deadlift, bent over barbell row, 10 minute HIIT training session on treadmill or bike, day 6 and 7, rest, body and energy recovery. To build up muscle mass, it's recommended to consume whey protein drink about an hour before workout and after workout for muscle recovery and growth. The workout routine focuses on 4 sets of each exercise and 8 to 10 repetitions. Practice four sets of each exercise in a row and take a minute rest between each set and before jumping to the next exercise. For any beginners that would like to start muscle building, the best thing you can do is leverage someone else's knowledge to learn how to work out properly. There are various workout plans that were created by professional fitness specialists specifically for beginners. The best way to think of it is that no matter what your desired body looks like, it'll end up in two very simple factors. 1. Having muscle, and 2. 
having low body fat. Depending on the body, it's just a matter of the degree of these two factors. While it's impossible to get your ideal body shape that looks exactly like your desired goal, you can get as close as possible simply by aiming to have a similar amount of muscle and a similarly low amount of body fat. So, did you have any celebrities who inspired you to get into shape? Go ahead and model them and make it your fitness goal. This is one of the best visualization techniques top fitness models and competitors use to be at the top of their game. It's simply because when you see it, you believe it. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.